In this video, we're going to learn about polygon dictionaries in ClickHouse. We'll be using this data set from datahub.io. As you can see in the description, it has polygons for all the world's countries. So let's use the curl command to have a look at the data set. And so you can see here, everything is underneath the features property. So we've got a big array of polygons under there. So let's just go out and we'll just get the stuff under dot features and we'll read it as an array using JQ just so it's a bit easier to see what's going on. So you can see now it comes back. So we've got the this first polygon is Aruba. Its type is polygon. So there's a single polygon in there. And then the polygon itself is under the coordinates property. There are also multi polygons. So if we do a search for that, it comes back. So you can see the first one that we get is Angola. And it just means it has more than one uh, polygon. Otherwise, the, the structure is very similar. Let's now come out of there and we're going to launch ClickHouse Local. And then we're going to read from that URL. We'll tell it to process it as JSON, as string. And then we're going to extract, extract out those features. And then we'll call the array join to kind of explode it out so that we uh, get them as individual rows. And we'll get just the first row. And then we also need to make sure that we set max HTTP get redirects to one because this URL redirects somewhere else. And you can see it then comes back. Uh, it's again the Aruba entry that we saw before. Let's now delete the limit and format from that query and we'll wrap the first bit in a CTE. And then we're going to read from that features CTE. We're going to select the name of the place where the polygon is. We're going to get the type as well. And then what we're going to do next is if it's a polygon, we're going to wrap it in an array and we're going to pull out the coordinates for that polygon type. Uh, if it's a, po a multi polygon, then we're going to leave it as it is. So we're going to have a, the, and then we're going to name that field as coordinates. So coordinates is going to be a multi polygon, whether or not it was a multi polygon in the initial file. We're going to treat everything as a multi polygon. And you can see it comes back. So we've got, again, it's Aruba, we've got the polygon, and now this is in the uh, correct ClickHouse type. Let's now update that query to create a table called countries. We're going to use a merge tree engine and we'll order the data by name. And let's run that and it takes a few seconds. We'll speed it up a bit so you can see it took a little bit over six seconds to create our table. Let's have a look what we've got. So we're going to say I want to query the table and then we're going to look inside those multi polygons to try and find ones where it matches this point here. So this is a point in Germany and you can see it comes back uh, reasonably quickly. So 0.01 seconds, it tells us, hey, that, that point was in Germany. So I want to try this with uh, some more points. So I've created a CSV file containing random locations. And so we're going to see if we can get ClickHouse to tell us in which country those locations belong, if indeed they belong in any. So some of them will be in the C. So we're going to set schema inference make columns nullable to zero so that it's not going to create all our fields as nullable. And then we're going to read from the CSV file and you can see we've got 100,000 records to work with. Let's have a look at 10 of them. So you can see it's a very, very simple file. So we've got lat in one column and a long in the other one. Let's now write a new query. So we're going to find all the coordinates for the United Kingdom. And then we're going to count, iterating over that CSV file that we just saw, how many times the points from the CSV file exist within the UK polygons. And you can see it comes back, takes a little bit over two seconds. So it says we've got 53 of our 100,000 points are inside one of the UK's polygons. Now I should say that that two seconds that it took is correlated with how many polygons there are for the country and kind of how big they are. So it sort of indicates how many uh, pl places does it have to go and check does that point exist. So the UK has a medium number, but if you looked at something like Canada or the United States, you'd have a lot bigger space to look at. So that query would take even longer. So I did try it with Canada, but it took so long that I got frustrated and killed it. But what we can do is we can see if we can make it any quicker if we use a polygon dictionary. So a dictionary in ClickHouse stores an in-memory mapping from a key to some attributes, and they're often used to make it easier to work with reference data. And a polygon dictionary is a special type of this that lets us efficiently search for a polygon that contains specified points. So we're going to create a polygon called country polygons. It's going to have a name and then the coordinates. We then need to make sure that we specify the primary key needs to be a polygon or a multi polygon. So it has to be our coordinates key. And then we're going to specify a source. So in this case, it's going to be the country table. But the source could also be a local file, a HTTP endpoint, or even a table from another database. Once we've done that, we'll set a lifetime for the dictionary. So 
we're just going to set it to live forever. And then the last thing that we have to do is set a layout. So we're going to use the layout polygon, but there are other ones that we could choose. So we could go with polygon simple, and that means that a linear pass would be made through all the polygons for each query that we make. Another one is polygon index each. And so here a separate index is built for each polygon, breaking the space down into grid cells. And then when we query it, we can search inside those grid cells rather than searching across everything. And then the one that we're using is called polygon index cell, also known as polygon. And so that's the same as polygon index each, but it then has another layer of indexing inside each, each cell. And so that should then, it will then take up a little bit more space, but it should be allow us to query it more quickly. So when we use dictionaries in ClickHouse, we need to make a call. The first call to the dictionary is going to load it into memory. So let's make a call with that coordinate that we saw in Germany earlier. So we'll run that and you see it takes about two and a half seconds and it comes back Germany as we would expect. Now let's update our previous query to use the dictionary to count the locations in the UK. So we'll delete the previous where clause and we'll add in our new where clause, so dict get, pass in the country polygons, the name, the long and lat, and make sure it equals United Kingdom. And this time it comes back with the same answer, 53, but it only took 0.02 seconds. So if you liked this video, you might also like this one up here, where we did an introduction to the polygon and point geotypes.